Is your shop equipped to deal with R1234YF? Well, considering that 9 out of 10 of the most popular vehicles sold in the United States are equipped with this newer refrigerant, you should be. R1234YF or HFO1234YF is not new by any means. It's been around for quite some time. But more and more, the vehicles using this refrigerant are coming out of factory warranty and showing up at your shop. In order to service these vehicles, though, you're going to need equipment specifically designed for R1234YF. It starts with a recovery recycle recharge machine, and the folks at Robinair have just what you're looking for. Robinair was the first company to make an SAE certified R1234YF machine commercially available. And it's the brand chosen by more shops, more shops than any of the other brands combined. The demands of R1234YF service don't stop with the machine. R1234YF is considered mildly flammable and it's not an inexpensive refrigerant. To this end, it's imperative that the system be leak-free, and these machines will automatically perform a vacuum and pressure test before they'll allow you to recharge the system. The pressure test is performed by adding 15% of the system charge, and then the tech is directed to place an SAE J2913 certified leak detector in a floor duct on high sensitivity. The HVAC controls are then set to floor mode, AC off, and the blower at low speed. The leak detector is allowed to sit there for five minutes to ensure that there is no interior leak present. So if that test passes, but the pressure decay doesn't pass, you'll need to use the same leak detector to find and isolate the cause of the leak under the hood. The Robinair LD7 Premium Refrigerant Leak Detector is a great choice. Compatible with both R134A and R1234YF, it features a new color graphic display that highlights leak sizes in two very unique ways. The bar graph mode shows the amount of refrigerant detected in the air and changes colors as the sensor gets closer to the source of the leak. Sweep mode allows the user to see the level of a refrigerant detected in the air through a line graph, and that helps the user trace back and forth to pinpoint the exact source of the leak. The LD7 also uses an audible alarm to alert technicians of a refrigerant leak. UV LED lights to locate leaks using UV dye, and an inspection light for searching in dark locations. Another service difference is that there's no oil injection on the recovery, recycling, and recharge equipment. This is to help ensure that the correct amount of oil is added and to avoid cross-contamination between the different PAG oils used by the various manufacturers. Robinair has you covered there too with the 18465 syringe type oil injection tool. It comes fitted with a 1234YF compatible connector and holds one half ounce of oil measured in one eighth ounce increments allowing you to add the correct amount of oil for the vehicle you're servicing. Critical today on systems using less refrigerant and less oil than ever before. In fact, consider investing in two, one for the vehicles that you service using PAG oil and the other to service vehicles using POE oil, that is hybrids and EV vehicles using high voltage electric compressors. On these systems, it is critical that the POE oil not become contaminated with even the smallest amount of PAG oil. If that happens, typically it will result in a high voltage isolation fault and will end up costing you a lot of time and money to correct. Like every other vehicle system that you're dealing with today, the R1234YF AC systems are highly technical and complex and less tolerant of mistakes than any AC system has ever been. Avoid those mistakes by making sure you follow the proper service information and you use the right tools for the job, like those offered by Robinair. You can learn more about the products that I showed you today and the other fine line of Robinair AC servicing equipment by visiting their website. 
You'll find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.